Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we are back with Blave the Hunter in An Orlando. And, um, you know, we just got here. We haven't really done anything. Um, this place looks spectacular and beautiful. Um, I walked down this staircase at the end of the last episode and saw uh, a huge guy. But um, I, I noticed uh, just now, uh, starting this episode, that I have 42,000 souls. And that kind of makes me think that I'm not really very inclined to, to run up against, you know, a said huge guy that could potentially uh, relieve me of all my souls. So uh, I guess my options are I, I could put the ring on that I have that uh, would, ke would keep me from losing all those souls if I died. Uh, or I could uh, have this guy carry me back down um, and, and go to the um, uh, bonfire and, and use these points to level up. Because I've got like uh, uh, four or five points here that I can use to level up. So I think I'm going to do that. Um... And, um, you know, we're going to go from there. And, uh, I, and I know in the, in the, in the previous uh, few episodes, I had kind of had a, I guess, a, a conflict uh, uh, of how I wanted to proceed uh, in terms of, in terms of, um, what I wanted to do with my guys, um, what I wanted to do with Blave's stats. You know, I've, I've really been focusing on, um, I've really been focusing on my dexterity, and, whoa, uh-oh, and, um, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking that, uh, I might just continue to do so for a while, because, you know, I'm, I'm at the point in the game where, you know, for one, I don't know how much longer the game is. Um, so I don't know, you know, if, um, if I could really sink points into some other stats, you know, such as, uh, you know, other things that I was thinking of would be like, um, for instance pyromancy or uh, sorcery or uh, intelligence uh, I, I don't know if um, you know I would really be able to uh, get um, get those to the point where they would be really good or useful and you know I'm pretty sure in this game you know I don't know much about it but I do know that I really struggle, you know, to damage things. Um, so I think that if I start dividing, you know, my focus, like let's say I, I start putting um, into, you know, pyromancy, and I become, you know, kind of good at pyromancy and kind of good at, you know, dexterity or kind of high dexterity, uh, I just don't think that either of them, either of those two skills are really gonna, you know, let me do very much damage. So, you know, ultimately, uh, I think that, um, you know, I just really have to um, kind of go with my gut and, um, you know, just keep building up this, uh, keep building this dexterity up. So, let's see, I'm gonna go with maybe two dexterity, and I'm kind of thinking that it's about time to put a little bit more into vitality. Oh, man. It's... You never... I mean, you can't have too many hit points. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, and you can't have too much stamina. Um, okay, I'm going to go with something like that. But, uh, you know, that, that brings me down to 1,700 souls. So that makes me a lot more comfortable, you know, going into this new area. You know, and I'm also walking around um, with hollowing reversed, 
So, um, you know, someone could invade and kill me and, you know, it just... I don't like walking around with 42,000 souls. Not... Really, actually, you know, and since I might... Whoops, I guess I need to walk back up here to do this. Since I might die, I might as well kindle this flame and go in, uh... Go into this place with 10 Estus Flasks. I think that would also be uh, a good use of this humanity. Because I, I don't really see myself not dying. <laughs> um, and, um, and then that humanity just gets completely wasted. So, uh, you know, why not? Why not? So, I was thinking to myself, um, initially... I didn't really, you know, see uh, any reason to come back to Sen's Fortress. But I think that eventually I, m I may actually come back, you know, once once I get a good bit more beefy. Um, for the sole purpose of um, going down into the bowels of this area. Because I remember one time I fell off. One of the pendulums knocked me off. And uh, I fell down into an area with a bunch of those statues that um, that I had fought uh, kind of near near Darkroot Forest. Um, I don't know if you've played the game or if you've watched uh, the videos, um, but you know it was like this big headless statue. It's missing a leg. Uh, it shoots lightning, um, but. Um, but uh, anyway, it when I when I killed it near Darkroot Forest, it dropped like a Titanite slab, you know. So I'm and there were several of them down there. So I'm thinking that once I get a little bit more hardcore, <laughs> so to speak, um, you know, I might uh, it might behoove me to go down there and and uh, and get some more Titanite. And uh, along those lines, you know, I was thinking of um, some other places where I found Titanite in the game. And uh, since so I saw this cutscene in the last uh, video, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. I was thinking of places where I've got Titanite in the last game. Now, now I've got Titanite shards off of some of the undead soldiers, um, you know, near the uh, near the church. Um, um, but, uh, so look at this guy. But um, the only other place that I thought that I had good uh, Titanite, like uh, the Titanite... Um, it might be Titanite chunks. Um, yeah, the the pieces of Titanite that I used to get my sword from plus five to I think it's plus nine right now um, were actually those slugs. Uh, those a couple of those slugs dropped them in in the um, in Blight Town. Oh man, I'm really not looking forward to fighting this guy. I wonder if I can block his attacks. Okay, I wonder if he's just going to ignore me. Okay, alright. If he'll ignore me, I'll ignore him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Something tells me that we are about to get into a situation. Okay. I was right. We are officially dealing with a situation now. Okay, let's just see what let's see what tricks this guy has up his sleeve. Let's feel him out a little bit. Okay, well now we're doing we're doing pretty decent damage to him. You know we're just we're just keeping our. Okay. Oh my goodness! So see now that's that's where the stamina that's where the stamina comes into play. Man, see, I've got this shield that makes my stamina go up faster, but it is not fast enough. You just really need to avoid this guy's stuff. Okay, so this guy decided to start, you know, right towards the end. Okay, he's upset. He's upset. Let's drink a uh, Estus Flask here. 
They've got a reach on them. Look at those weapons. Okay. Let's keep our distance. Oh, man. Wow. Look at this. This is... So, they're not messing around in Anor Orlando here. They are just not messing around. Okay. You know, it seems like it's all about mobility. So much of this game is about mobility. There we go. There we go. And another thing is, okay, now let's um let's kind of examine this guy here. I'm wondering if mimics are just something that happens in Sen's fortress, but Okay, it doesn't look like it's moving. Once again, I don't know if there's another indication that you get. Ooh, Demon Titanite. Oh, and I think that might have been the kind of Titanite that I got off the other one. I, I think I've got some of it. So, plus five, reinforce. Um, special Titanite stolen from a faceless stone beast known as a Titanite Demon. Okay. So, I, I think that might have been the um, the... It's a pretty cool looking statue. What is that like a some kind of like lion headed creature? Um But anyway, uh I'd like to be able to experiment with some other weapons. Like I I got that uh, pretty neat looking rapier off a guy in Sen's uh, fortress. But the thing is, you know, how do, how do you really experiment with the thing? Because, you know, obviously, you know, a, a raw... Well, I, actually, I guess raw is a category of weapon you can upgrade to. But, uh, you know, just a, a, a base weapon, if you will, you know, such as that rapier. You know, let's just take a look at it real quick. So it's, like, it's at 70 right now. You know, uh, how am I supposed to know... Whoops. How am I supposed to know what it's going to, you know look like, you know, after after a while, you know, and, um, whoops, oh, shoot, I didn't, whoa, wow, that's a lot of hits, but, um, you know, how, how am I supposed to know in terms of, uh, damage? what it's supposed to look like, you know, at the end. And, and you know, you can't really, uh, you know, how do you justify um, spending? Um, I really wish I hadn't drank that Estus flask. Um, all of your, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, Titanite um, on, on the upgrade process. You know, and furthermore, I don't even know at this point if I could... Oh, crap. I should have known this was an elevator or a trap or something. Um, okay, for right now, I want to, oh gosh, I actually wanted to go back up that, and I should have just stayed on it. Um, okay, it's going to come back down. So, um, but anyway, as I was saying, how, how are you supposed to know? Um you know, without spending it, um, what it's going to become. And now I, I can see myself, you know, going back to the blacksmith, and I don't know how I'm going to get back to him from here, but going back to the blacksmith and just buying enough Titanite of, of little shards to get it to plus five, you know, I mean, that's fine. And, and I could look at it at that point, but I mean, still, you know, is it reasonable to assume that that plus five is going to be able to compare, oh, a um, bonfire. Let's see if it's trapped. It does look like there's a, um... Well, there's a guy here. 
Let's uh, rest first. If I uh, acquire some, let's see. Well, you are a rare oh, visitor. Oh, a lady. Welcome to the lost city of Anolondo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Hmm. What is it? What am I? Oh man. Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. I wonder if this if person can me, tell you how to um, what beacon would there be in this invade city? the world of the other a gatekeeper uh, and a firekeeper. That is my calling. Because I really want to figure out how to do that. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. Okay. If you require rest, okay. now is the time. That well, is, after all. Oh, wait, so now. Uh, that brought me back up to 10. And uh, I didn't even have to uh, kindle this one. So now are all of the uh, ones with a fire keeper, like if you kindle those, are, are those then automatically, uh, um, you know, maximized? Because that would be pretty neat. Uh, looks like that guy's guarding a cho. Oh, looks like there's two of them. Now I know that I can't take two of those guys at the same time. However, at this point, since um, since I'm right next to a bonfire, I'd say the risk is fairly minimal in um, you know pursuing pursuing this. Whoa! Of course, you need to <laughs> need to be on the old toes. I, I would love it if he actually would come out here. That'd be great. Because then if that other guy decides to wake up and play, then he won't be right on top of me right away. Plus, just have a little bit more room to, to work with. And that is what you need with these guys. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. I made him mad. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we seem to be uh, reasonably effective against these guys. You know, I mean, they're they're certainly not. Um, Weaklings by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, but, um, you know, my speed makes it so I can uh, avoid them unless I, pretty much unless I just do something incompetent. I need to experiment. Uh oh. Not good. There we go. Okay. Now let's see if either of these guys are mimics. And, I mean, once again. Doesn't look like it's moving. Twinkling Titanite. I don't I don't know if I have any of that. Oh, right, we need to look at this guy too. You see now this one's moving. This one's moving. <laughs> okay, so that's not restricted to um that's not restricted to um uh um, okay, I just forgot the name of it. Sen's Fortress. You know, they're here too. They're here too. 
You know, and I mean, I wish I could find some other detail. I mean, okay, so they got a chain coming off of them. That one's chain is lying like that. That one's chain's lying like that. I don't know if that's really an indication. You know, it seems like the, the indication you really get is that, I mean, the mimics are, are breathing. I mean, like, you can see it's opening its mouth and closing it. I mean, once again, if you didn't if you didn't catch that, like, look at that. Yep. That's how you know you're totally screwed. You know, don't go there. Okay? But anyway, <laughs> let's look at our uh, spoils here. Twinkling. Oh, okay, so I do have some of this. Uh, for weapons, not reinforced normally. Um, this weapon, reinforcing Titanite, is imbued with a particularly powerful energy. Reinforces weapons that cannot be reinforced normally to plus five. After this Titanite was peeled from its slab, it is said that it received a special power, but its specific nature is not clear. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Maybe, hopefully this guy's not going to attack me. Okay, he's just guarding that, that way. Now, it seems... Like the um, the firekeeper, and I don't really see a reason not to go back to the firekeeper and rest right now, uh, or the fire and rest. Um, get my two Estus flasks. Uh, it seemed like what they were saying is go go hence, which I, I guess means straight, or at least that's how I'm interpreting that, um, which would mean down that ladder that or not ladder, elevator that I just went down and um, uh, you know uh, I guess that so that'll be the first place that I um, you know pursue or, or check out and then um, you know we'll just we'll just go from there we'll just go from there let's see was there anything okay whoops okay good <laughs> It'd be kind of nice to find a merchant. They might have some nice um, items down here, and uh, I've got got a few thousand souls here, and I definitely like having items. I especially like having, um, you know, the pine resins. Um, you know, I've got one of the poison pine resins. I've got several uh, of the charcoal. Oh my gosh! So we're gonna have to fight this gargoyle. Let's look around. This. Okay, we're gonna have to fight him now. Okay, let's let's get him down here. Now, at least he doesn't seem to be able to... Whoa! That did some serious damage to my uh, stamina. Some serious damage. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't good. This is bad. This is getting serious. Oh, I hate being locked on when he does that. Okay, he can breathe freaking lightning. Okay, give me <laughs> he gave me a slight reprieve. If he can breathe lightning, he might not like firebombs. Uh he didn't really care too much about that. I mean, he didn't dis... I mean, he didn't, uh... He wasn't, like, immune to it. Gargoyle Helm. Well, that might be kind of cool. Okay. Um... Gargoyle Helm. It's 15 across the board. So what am I wearing right now? 11, 15, 22, so it's not... Um, it weighs 3.5 as opposed to my hood, which weighs 1.4, so it weighs considerably more. Um, 
Helm of the Gargoyle, enchanted creature that guarded the Bell of Awakening in the Belfry of the Undead Church. Okay. Bronze Helm was for mere appearance's sake, as gargoyle skin is naturally hard. Little in the way of defense can be expected from it. Okay. So, you know, I don't know... I don't really th think... It's going to be considerably better. I mean, it looks like it's definitely got, um... I mean, it's got better physical resistance. Let's put it on see what it, what does it look like. Whoops, I didn't put it on, did I? <laughs> um, looks kind of... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't make up my mind on that one. It certainly doesn't look as cool as my boar helm. That's where it's at. That's where it's at right there. I'm putting I'm gonna leave that on for a while. That thing's just ridiculous and cool. Um Okay. So now this is where I was I thought I was supposed to go. Now is this gonna be kinda like a, an Indiana Jones leap of faith situation? Do I need to walk off here? Can I use, um, where are my, uh, little things that I can drop? Okay, yeah, so that's death. Um, what's that over there? Oh, a switch. Um... Well, so, so, anyway, basically, I have absolutely no idea, but everything that all of my senses are telling me that that is not what I need to do. Now, um, let's take a look, let's take a look up here. So there's definitely a, a level, you know, there's definitely some stuff, you know, immediately under here that I could go to. I wonder if I can walk up the, that. Probably not, but, uh, you know, I might try it if I get stuck. You know, I'm not, I'm not missing the constant traps that were in Sen's Fortress. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, okay, okay. So, now, we've got, we've got the curled chain, but let's see if it's breathing. Give it a few more seconds. Okay, that one doesn't look like a, doesn't look like it's moving, so... I think we're good. More demon titanite. Um. You know, I'll take it. I don't know, um. If we're gonna get. You know, to make. A uh, chance to make that. Or use that anytime soon or not. Um. I don't really want to walk up that. I guess I could go use another. My uh, 10,000 souls to level up. And then, um. I guess, uh, kill that other big guy and, you know, try to go on. But, uh, you know, frankly, it doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything more I can do down here right now. I'll probably have to, um, you know, get somewhere else and, and, and unlock, um, unlock something. This helmet is just ridiculous. But you gotta, you gotta enjoy the little things. Or in the case of this helmet, you know, unnecessarily gargantuan things. 
Look at that thing. My goodness. Okay. So yeah, I think we gotta go past that guy, because he's guarding some stairs that go up that way. Um, and then that the only thing that is over there is, um, you know, uh, stairs back to uh, Sen's Fortress. So, um, it doesn't look like we have a whole lot of options right now. You know, which honestly is um, something uh, something I don't mind. You know, I, I like kind of at least thinking I know where to go. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, don't have quite enough. We need a, about a thousand more. But, um... Anyway, um, you know, we, we're here. Looks like we got uh, a sense of direction. You know, we seem to be uh, holding our own. Certainly doing better than we were in Sense Fortress, that's for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm looking at the time for this video, and it looks like a pretty good place to stop. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll pick up here next time.